Pluto, a previous planet that was downsized to a Bantam planet, stays a subject of interest and concentration in the galactic local area, as shown by later figures by leading analysts. Pluto's circle is dangerously near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alert about a possibly risky impact between these two planets, which could represent a basic gamble to Earth. Yet, how is such an occasion even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun isn't like any other planet in our planetary group. It requires a stunning 248 years to finish a solitary circle, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Yet, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's circle is set apart by its incredibly bended shape, meandering out and away from the close-to-round circles of the major planets. What makes Pluto's circle even more curious is its slant, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its circle is altogether more outrageous compared to other planets. This tendency and eccentricity add layers of intricacy to its orbital plan. Perhaps one of the most fascinating parts of Pluto's circle is its crossing point with Neptune's circle. For around 20 years in each circle, Pluto actually draws nearer to the Sun than Neptune, standing in opposition to what we might anticipate in light of their positions in the solar system. This prompts the regular inquiry, why hasn't Pluto slammed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of different planets. The investigation of Pluto's circle began not long after its discovery. Initially, space experts tried to sort out its bizarre way. Dissimilar to other planets, whose circles lie generally close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's circle juts with its lofty tendency and extended shape. The mystery developed with the acknowledgement that Pluto's circle does for sure cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's circle amidst these intricacies is proof of the many-sided mechanics of space. The three-body issue in space involves sorting out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with one another due to their gravity. It's like attempting to predict where they will go in light of where they begin and how the manner in which they pull on each other works. For Pluto's situation, this issue shows how its circle, Neptune's circle, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms alpha libration, degree libration, and VZK wavering are vital to settling this puzzle as shown by astrophysicists. What keeps all planets in their circles is a peculiarity called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term implies that at whatever point Pluto crosses Neptune's circle, it is something like 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial division is critical in keeping their circles from crossing. Development libration, on the other hand, alludes to the vertical movement of a body in its circle. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or some other giant planet, it is situated well above their orbital plane, giving an additional layer of security from potential crashes. Another significant consideration is the VZK wavering, named after three scientists, Bon Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This gravitational force influences how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK helps explain why its circle around the Sun is so strange. Despite its seemingly whimsical way, this swaying helps keep Pluto moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK wavering shows that, despite the fact that things in space may seem tumultuous and irregular, some patterns and forces keep everything together. These forces help maintain Pluto's circle, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or get lost. This three-body issue is pivotal for figuring out how circles change due to how space objects pull on each other. Focusing on this helps us get familiar with Pluto, our solar system, and far-off stars and planets. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s uncovered that, regardless of these settling properties, Pluto's circle is, in fact, tumultuous, with slight deviations in starting circumstances leading to enormous changes over time. However, 
These unusual properties of Pluto's circle have been found to primarily maintain stability over very long time scales, keeping the tumult under tight control. Ongoing computer models have assisted us with figuring out how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn impact Pluto's way around the Sun. Neptune has an extraordinary relationship with Pluto, where for each two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune finishes three. This resonance stabilizes Pluto's circle, but Neptune isn't the only component. Jupiter's gravity also plays a massive role in protecting Pluto's circle, and Saturn contributes as well. These investigations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is powerful enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for an extended period, possibly even billions of years. So, it's like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without getting into trouble. These characteristics are key in the larger context of the universe maintaining everything in order and keeping stability in the movement of celestial bodies. Without these forces, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic place, with bodies like Pluto potentially crashing into others or being flung out of their stable orbits, leading to a cascading effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, especially in discussions about its potential contact with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can come to a state of equilibrium through the intricate negotiation of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continued observation and exploration of these idiosyncrasies to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space frequently drives us to confront the peculiar nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of this phenomenon. The concept of orbital disorder, which refers to the delicate dependence of a body's path on its initial conditions, is clearly outlined in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in Pluto's position or speed can dramatically change its long-term trajectory within the vast space of our solar system. Pluto occupies a unique place that challenges our understanding of planetary order and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant discoveries about its structure and behavior. One of the most captivating parts of Pluto is its surface, which is a complicated tapestry of ice, rock, and other compounds. The New Horizons mission which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided incredible data about this distant world. Pluto's surface is characterized by vast fields, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a huge heart-shaped plane primarily made of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of land features, including massive ice blocks and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geographically active, despite its vast distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another captivating part of Pluto is its atmosphere, which is primarily made of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin, but it shows interesting seasonal variations. As Pluto moves closer to the sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and become more dynamic. This behavior mirrors the complex interaction between Pluto and its atmosphere. During Pluto's closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases might freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The connection between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that the two bodies orbit a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply orbiting Charon. This unique relationship adds to the gravitational dynamics of the region, impacting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small, icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. 
This belt is a repository of ancient material from the early solar system, offering scientists a glimpse into its development. Pluto's orbital attributes might provide insights into the developmental patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a key role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital mechanics is its potential impact on how we understand the solar system's formation. Gravitational impacts from neighboring giant planets, like Jupiter and Neptune, can adjust the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper belt. Such interactions can lead to changes in orbits, potentially causing crashes or ejections from the solar system. As researchers continue to study these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies across the universe. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about order in cosmology. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 sparked debates about what defines a planet. The International Astronomical Union's definition centered on criteria like orbital stability and size leaving many to consider the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discussion reflects our evolving understanding of the universe and underscores the need for a flexible approach to classifying celestial bodies. Moreover, the potential for future exploration of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With advances in technology and mission planning, Scientists are considering sending additional spacecraft to study Pluto as well as other objects with similar orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable data about the primordial materials that shaped our solar system, possibly shedding light on the origins of life on Earth. The study of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, is another fascinating area of research that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As astronomers discover a growing number of exoplanets, particularly those in the habitable zones of their stars, the lessons learned from studying our own solar system might help to develop hypotheses about planetary formation and habitability. Finally, public interest in Pluto has remained strong due to its enigmatic status and the stunning images returned by the New Horizons mission. The dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people worldwide instilling a renewed appreciation for the vastness of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies that share its corner of the universe, we are reminded of the awe-inspiring wonders the universe has to offer. Does Pluto's astounding nature extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a crucial case study for understanding planetary evolution and the dynamics of celestial bodies. Pluto's evolution is believed to have occurred in the early solar system, alongside other Kuiper Belt objects. Studying its composition can provide insights into the conditions that prevailed during the formative stages of the solar system, possibly revealing clues about the formation of Earth-like planets. Further research suggests that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean, a discovery that could reshape our understanding of its topography and potentially support life. New Horizons data revealed that some regions of Pluto's surface, such as the icy mountains, may be composed of water ice, which behaves differently from typical rock at low temperatures. This discovery invites further investigation into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its frozen surface, raising intriguing questions about the potential for life, even in such extreme conditions. Additionally, Pluto's relationship with its atmosphere can offer insights into atmospheric science. The seasonal changes in its thin atmosphere provide a natural laboratory for studying atmospheric cycles on a planetary scale. Scientists are particularly interested in how the interaction between solar radiation and the surface can lead to complex weather patterns, similar to those seen on larger planets.